In this lesson, you will learn the following. What user journeys are, why they are important when writing tests, how to write a user journey test, and we will also give you opportunities to practice the concepts you have learned in this lesson. If you get stuck, the answers are provided. So what exactly are user journeys? A user journey is the step-by-step -step journey that a user takes to reach their goal. For example, let's say you are testing an e-commerce application. First, a user will find a product. Next, they will add it to their shopping cart. When they are ready to purchase, they will then fill out their shipping info. After that, they will typically enter their payment information and finally complete their purchase. This entire journey a user takes from finding a product to buying it is called a user journey. User journey tests touch all of the layers within your tech stack. With a single test, you are testing the UI, the API, and networking layers, as well as the database and storage layers. By writing user journey tests, you will become more confident that your application is working properly. Now that you understand what a user journey is, I'm going to demonstrate the user journey we will be testing in our course application. So the first thing a user will typically do is they will land on the home page and then scroll down to find one of our courses. Then, once they find a course that they like, they will click on the Get Started button, which will then take them to the course landing page. After they read some information about the course, they will then most likely click on the Start Course button. This button will then take them to the first lesson of the course. Then, after reading the lesson, and they scroll all the way to the bottom, it will take the quiz. When they select the correct answer, the next button will appear, and when they click this button, it will take them to the next lesson. Now let's write a single test for this user journey. First, let's create a new spec file called userjourney.cy.ts. And then add the following. The first thing our user is going to do is land on the home page, find a course, click on the Get Started button, and then land on the course's landing page. Does this by any chance sound at all familiar? If you remember, we just wrote a test for these exact steps in the previous lesson when we were testing the courses section of our home page. So we can copy and paste this code and use it in our user journey test. Remember, we have to use sci.visit to tell Cypress to visit the home page. After saving our file, let's verify that this is still passing. The next thing a user would do after reading more about the course is to click the Start Course button. We can use the Selector Playground to find the selector for this button. And then we can update our test using the selector and then click on our button. After clicking this button, the user will land on the first lesson of the course. So let's write an assertion that verifies that the Start Course button navigates to the correct lesson. We will use the location command again and assert that it should equal the path of the first lesson. Great, everything's still passing. After reading the lesson, the user will then take the quiz at the very bottom. In this demo application, all of the answers are true. So let's use the selector playground again to get the checkbox for the true answer. Then we need to update our test and click on it. Next, we want to assert that the Next Lesson button has appeared and then click on it. Finally, we will write an assertion that verifies that the Next Lesson button takes the user to the correct Next Lesson. Again, we are using the sci.location command 
and verifying that the path equals the correct next lesson. Now it is time for you to put what you have just learned into practice. Finish writing this user journey test so that the user completes all of the lessons in the first course. Once they have, the next lesson button that appears after completing the final quiz should say complete course, and then after clicking on it, we'll take them to the homepage. If you get stuck, the answers are provided in the lesson below.